Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In the previous videos we have seen module 3 that is embedded systems. The different concepts of module 3 we have discussed starting from the definition up to the communication interfaces we have discussed. So let us get into the questions from 10 important topics in this particular module we can expect in examination. The first question, it is very important and asked in previous exams in the embedded systems also. So, the definition of the embedded system and the difference between the general purpose and embedded system may be asked in the examination. And microprocessor and microcontroller is the heart of the embedded system and difference between those two is also very important. Many times in the examination they have asked to write the difference between microprocessor and the microcontroller for 5 to 6 marks. For here to write the differences you need to write at least 5 differences for 5 marks. If they ask you to write the differences for 8 marks, you need to write at least 8 to 10 differences. Likewise, they may ask the differences between microprocessor, microcontroller and also von Neumann and Harvard architecture, they may ask the difference also. And then classification of embedded system is also an important concept here. And based on the generation, based on the complexity is enough to write the classification. If you want, you can based on other classifications also you can write, but these two are very important for exam. And then elements of embedded system. Here this block diagram is very important for exam, we can expect this time uh, in examination to write the elements of embedded system. A system core, it can be a microcontroller or microprocessor or any FPGA ASIC and it will be connect with the memory and some communication interfaces are there and output ports like actuators, input ports will be sensors and other supporting integrated circuits will be there and this will be an embedded firmware which will be loaded on the memory, this much you need to write. This question may come for 6 or 8 marks. And then measurement system, means measurement system will be taking an input from the sensor and it is going to process and then it will be uh, connected to display and recording system may be asked or the control system also can be asked with respect to the instrumentation system is concerned. This is also a very important uh, thing, why because this is only the block diagram we have. And then with respect to the sensor and transducers is concerned, here in our syllabus we have only listed out all the sensors and uh, some transducers, in detail we have not studied. That is why uh, for measuring a temperature or for measuring a light in intensity uh, to measure the pressure and speed and some other components. So how to measure these with respect to the transducer or the sensor is concerned. Likewise a general question may come for 4 to 5 marks. Uh, but there will be no question to explain the particular sensor in detail. There is no such question may be asked in the examination. The next very important thing is LED as well as 7 segment display. This LED will be uh, asked separately or 7 segment display may be asked separately or this uh, 7 segment display will be an application of this LED. So that if they are asked to write separately, LED is a separate question, you are supposed to write the explanation of LED with respect to how actually it is going to operate and there are two modes of connection and 7 segment display also. Likewise, you can answer these questions by considering two separate here or if they ask in combined way, you can write the combined answer also. And then stepper motor, it is also a very important question, uh, many times it is asked in the examination in the previous syllabus also microcontroller with the driver and how to control the stepper motor and before that you need to write a stepper motor how actually the windings and connections will be. You can write a table and a brief explanation for this. So this question may be asked for 6 to 8 marks again. And then relay piezo buzzer push buttons which are the 3 uh, important concepts again in the book itself they have given with respect to the microcontroller is concerned. So again here I have given 3 questions here. These three questions may be asked separately. You may uh, get a question like explain relay with interfacing with the microcontroller for 5 marks, similarly FISO buzzer as well as push button switch. You need to write this circuit and also how relay is going to work, how FISO buzzer is going to work and how push button switch is going to work. And the next important thing is keyboard. This is very very important and many times asked in other subjects also. Wherever keyboard is a concept of our syllabus, the question paper setters will ask that question again and again. So this can be expected this time and this time and you need to know how actually the key press will be detected here. Uh, they may ask like explain the key detection in a 4 cross 4 matrix keyboard, how actually the procedure will be like that they are going to ask. 
here you need to understand how the rows and column uh, key will be detected. And then you want parallel interface and USB are the three uh, concepts at last. You can get to briefly explain UART, you can get briefly explain parallel interface and USB or else for 4 to 5 marks even they may ask this also. And these are some other important questions, I have listed 15 questions, you may split this into 20 or 25 also I have combined, okay. Thank you.